Hello, welcome back to Learn and Economia. Today we are going to look into the developmental theory given by Adam Smith. Let's have a look into this. So we have been discussing various various aspects related to the contributions made by the father of economics that is Adam Smith. And this person has given his own version of development as well. And before going to the actual contributions or the basic tenets on Adam Smith theory on development, it's very much important to understand the underlying aspects related to this. Adam Smith is always giving emphasis to the superiority of natural law. And by natural law, he always believed in the laws of nature. And he believed that these laws are very much superior to the laws made by states. And the laws of nature always gave emphasis to morality, honesty and all sorts of justice. Another important aspect related to Adam Smith theory is the idea of laissez fair. So the idea of laissez fair says that economic freedom should be given and state should not impose any restriction. Here it gives all importance to market forces of demand and supply. And next important aspect we have to consider is division of labor. The division of labor means the work would be divided into several parts and every person would be given uh, the responsibility of taking care of a particular task. He is not responsible for uh, any other different work. The person would be divided the person, the, the total work in the economy would be divided or if you are taking the case of factory, let me give you an example. Uh, Adam Smith was giving example of a factory and in this factory there would be several workers. And what the factory owner can do is that he would be dividing the several workers into groups. So you will be having several groups of workers. And every guru would be given the responsibility of taking care of a particular task. And this would make something called specialization. Because as a result of division of labor, the efficiency would be increasing. Efficiency of every worker would be increasing and this is something that would lead to specialization. Now. Coming to the basic tenets on Adam Smith theory on development, first important aspect is the division of labor. So Adam Smith was always giving emphasis to division of labor. He was understanding the role of labor first of all as far as a work is concerned. And he, he says that whenever there is division of labor, it would help to increase the total capital in the economy and also he says that this would help a labor to be specialized in a particular arena where he is working. So what would happen when specialization comes? So this would be increasing the productivity of the worker and produ whenever productivity increases definitely this will lead to greater production because the worker would be able to work very much quickly as well as efficiently. This will not create any. Like, this will not create any strain on the worker. Instead, uh, it will be increasing the number of products that is being produced. And what can happen when more products are produced? We can go for something called export. So this will give the opportunity to have international trade. Again, another important aspect that we have to understand this is with respect to the production function and Adam Smith was trying to establish a relationship between input and inputs and output relationship between inputs and output so the various input that Smith was using involved uh, capital labor and land so as per Smith the output in the economy y is a function of labor, capital and land. This is what Smith believed in and this is the specific production function that Smith was using. And he always identified the role of labor and he believed in something called the labor theory of value. He 
they believe that if you are not having labor you won't be able to produce anything if you are not having capital you can produce something at least but if there is no labor that means there won't be any production so that much emphasis uh, was attached to the role of labor as far as smithian production is concerned and that is why we have to give emphasis to the labor theory of value given by adam smith then as per smith uh, for development the accumulation of capital is very much important and accumulation of capital is something that depends upon division of labor so division of labor would also be playing a role here you can say uh, this accumulation of capital a function of division of labor and when division of labor increases this would increase the when this increases this would increase capital accumulation this is something which smith also believed and vice versa whenever division of labor falls capital accumulation would also be falling another important aspect that smith was giving emphasis to was something called agents of economic growth and smith was identifying three economic agents and he recognized the role of farmers he recognized the role of producers and also he recognized the role of businessmen and smith believed that each have their role everybody would be having their role farmers would be having their role producers would be having their role and businessmen would be having their role and he believed that free trade enterprise and competition that led farmers businessmen producers to expand the market and definitely this is something that helps in development this is what smith believed in next we need to understand the role of cumulative development process so smith believed that if we can able to start development somewhere if development starts somewhere it will be gathering momentum so that it would be cumulative so you need to focus on something called the starting point because once you are able to move development or once you are able to move from the starting point the economy will be growing like this slowly and gradually it will grow but he says that even though the economy grows it will not be an endless growth definitely economy would be progressing definitely this growth won't will be endless will not be endless not uh, it's he is not saying that it is endless but he says that it is not endless so there will be an end that's it will be an end and he recognized this state as something called stationary state so it would be a state of full employment where every eco, every uh, resource would be fully utilized and after this point the growth of the economy would be fully static or stagnant this is something about which smith was giving emphasis to in his theory of development now coming to the basic criticisms that uh, his theory was facing we can see that uh, smith was always uh, neglecting the role of entrepreneur when it comes to economic development he never considers he was just giving emphasis to market forces he was giving emphasis to role of invisible hand he was giving emphasis to role of self interest he was giving emphasis to uh, something called laissez faire again this is which is unrealistic again he was giving unrealistic uh, assumption uh, uh, he was giving emphasis to unrealistic assumption of perfect competition perfect competition is a market structure we cannot see in reality because it is all about uh, homogeneous product it's all about free entry exit it's all about perfect information so this is something which you cannot even think about today is a world of uncertainty it's a world of risk where everywhere inefficiencies problems asymmetric information incomplete knowledge all these things are coming and this cause every problem 
so smith was not even considering this he was just believing in the world of perfect competition which is too unrealistic and another and major drawback here is he was not recognizing the role of government he always believed that whenever government intervenes that will create inefficiency but this is not the case today government even intervention is very much required for development and that too was neglected by this person smith and that is all regarding the smithian idea of development uh, hope you could understand thank you for watching you can join our free telegram community link would be provided in the description box also you can download the learn economy app for that also i'll be i'll be providing the link in the description box that's it thank you for watching